So this one, I don't even know. How do I start this? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Screw it. OFG is me, Deontari. And no, I'm not just doing that for YouTube. That's been my slogan for like two years. Because OMG, it's me, Deontari. Ah! But anyway, so everybody been asking me to make a YouTube for a long time. Time. Cause I'm like I'm not I I'm good at telling stories and I'm low key funny so screw it I'm making it now I guess and my friend told me my first video should be a story time of course because like I said I tell stories good so we gonna talk about my freshman year all the way up until now because we talk about this relationship but it started my freshman year and she I mean. Shoo, it's still going on now. So, I mean, it's not going on, but, like, we barely not, we barely don't mess with each other. Like, we just don't talk barely. Like, okay. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anyway, so his name, we're going to call him... Javon. Yeah. We gonna call him Javon. And we gonna call this other girl Maria. So, I couldn't really decide, like, what school I wanted to go to. And I took so long to decide that I kind of just ended up having to just pick. So, I ended up in this small school named Detroit Leadership Academy or you know, whatever. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was like, it was small, but like, it's it's high school so like it's already something different like my middle school was bigger but like you win some you lose some so the first day of course you know i was i knew people yeah i knew i knew actually i knew a nice amount of people and it was some people who came from my middle school with me so it wasn't really like i just went in there and it was like new school new people like i was in there with people I knew so they knew people so I, I instantly kind of knew some people but then it was the people who was there already the 10th graders right okay cool I ain't paying them no attention so the 10th grade boys of this school was kind of like no but they was the fine ones like no not no funny, no fun, no being funny, no because I dated the, no. They were the fine ones. Like the ninth graders, they were childish, and then some of them was like mostly ugly. Sorry, I love y'all though. And then it was like the eleventh graders. Nobody really. It wasn't no boys that stuck out. It was really the eleventh grade girls who like was. So and then it was the twelfth graders who really it wasn't really that many of them. So it wasn't like nobody really. The 12th graders, nobody really talked to them for real. Like, it was some 12th grade girls. The it was some 12th grade boys, but barely. So, the 10th grade boys always on them 9th grade girls because it was some cute, cute 9th grade girls. I'm not going to lie. My freshman class stepped. But I don't like most of y'all now, so. But y'all are still cute. I'm not going to say no bitch I don't like is ugly because I. No girl I don't like is ugly, because that's not true. Because if you was cute when we was cool, you cute now. Like, nothing about you change. It's just the way you change is what I say. So, we don't need to talk about none of that. We're going to skip right to this little relationship. So, like, two days after... No, 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 no. The, like, the... the second or third day of school i seen this boy looking at me and i kind of was looking back because you know he was light skin tall you know like okay i'm feeling it you know but he girl so i guess i knew somebody already who was in the 10th grade we was real close so i guess he asked him what my name was and he told him or whatever and my my name on social media is my name so like I guess he went and typed it in. He followed me. He liked my pictures. So I remember the stare we had from earlier that day. And I followed back. And I liked the picture maybe too. So he DM'd me like text. And I was like, okay. Got his number. We started texting. 
So, we don't really need to go through what happened in between time. Because, like, we just text or whatever. So, like, a week after this, cheer tryouts. Cheer tryouts come for the school or whatever. So we, I'm talking to this girl. We gon' we she don't need a name because she's not in this story for too long. So I'm talking to this girl and she's like, Who you talk to? We watching the basketball players play at the cheer practice after school. She like, Who you talk to? And I'm like, Cause like, why? And like I said, I don't I don't really I don't know her. So it's like, why are you asking me that? So I'm like, girl, and I kind of laughed. I was like, who you talk to? Like, you t- like if she tell me, okay, I'll tell her. Because, you know, if you just come ask me, I felt like, okay, you asking for somebody. So she asked me or whatever, and I asked her, like, so who you talk to? She's like, oh, I talk to the boy in the gray shorts. She, I'm like, and I, ooh. And I, ooh. Because the boy I talked to got on gray shorts. So she's like, say bye and i'm like yeah she like you talk about him and i'm like oh no not him so it turns out she wasn't talking about the one i was talking to i'm like oh no i'm talking about him pointing at the boy i talked to pointing at mr j bond so she like say bye if you talk to him oh my gosh she just started going crazy and i'm like what the are you okay? Like, what's wrong with you? So she goes flying back to the classroom that all the cheerleaders was in. And she go gets this girl, Maria. And she's like, girl, oh, my God, guess who? Guess who she talked to? Blah, blah, blah. And she like, who? She like, Javon. And everybody like, oh, my God. So, so, like I said, I'm a freshman. And these are the 10th grade girls and 11th grade girls and some 9th grade girls going nuts. So I'm just like. Well, I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. What's, look, what's the gag? Like, what y'all laughing at? She like, oh, that's my ex. I'm like, oh, okay, it's your ex. I'm like, okay, ex. You know, y'all don't talk. You just, you just the ex. Wrong. So, like I said, the boys was in the practice or whatever. So, we didn't talk. We didn't went through messages and everything. We didn't say anything. He kind of been, he kind of been, you know, he was kind of hoeing her for me. But he wasn't really like hoeing her he was still giving attention you feel me and then he was messing with her in classes that they had together so it wasn't like he was really so he comes out of the little practice or whatever and the cheerleaders we all decided it'd be funny to stand there and say niggas ain't ain't," you know so we're doing that and he kind of silly so he come out like hey you know thinking no we're talking about you stupid i'm not so she go up and she said, I'm not going to say, because like I said, we only been texting for a week at this point. So like, I haven't got to the point where I could cut into him. So it's like, what do I do? So I was just going to wait to say something to him. So she said, she got to cutting into him or whatever and following him down the hall. He just walking. He not saying nothing to her for real. Or if he is, I can't see it because like they walking that way and I'm like still standing where I was. So I guess. He kind of dissed her or whatever. And I don't know. I don't even remember anymore. So much. We don't went through so much. I don't even remember how. But we ended up still talking after that. And them two didn't talk for a minute. She was going with somebody else or whatever. So, you know, we were kind of straight for a minute. But it was still sometimes where me and him would break up. And them two would start back talking. And, like, it was an open thing. Like, everybody knew. And she, me and her knew. Like, we, like, she probably knew that while they was together and talking, that me and him was still talking. Because I don't know why, but, like, whenever we'd break up and he'd start messing with her, I would still, like, talk to him. Like, I wouldn't mess with nobody else for real. And if I did, it was on, like, FaceTime or something. Like, don't come up to me. If, 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 if they even went to my school, like, don't come up to me. So, um, everybody, like, we basically let him flip-flop, like, with no hesitation. So, I'm going to say the first time he actually got, like, caught up, caught up where he was messing with both of us was, like, Christmas time, maybe, of the school year. So, but it wasn't bad. He was... I don't really know. I still don't know to this day. And I'm actually real, real cool with this girl now. Like, we're close. But 
I still to this day don't know what really the argument between them was in the classroom. But my cousin went to the school and he was cool with my cousin. And I was coming down the hallway and him and her were in the classroom talking. And at this time, me and him was together. So my cousin, like, don't go in there. Like, he like, I'm trying to protect you. Just don't go in there. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm coming down the hallway, but he knew that's where I was going because, you know, you go fuck with your man during lunchtime, you know, you know. This was during lunchtime, but they was in class because we had two different lunches. So, he like, don't go in there. You don't need to. So, blah, blah, blah. I'm what like, why then? Like, why? So, I ended up going in there, and I seen him and her. They, like, this close to each other. And I was like, bet. And I said, thank you to my cousin. I walked out the classroom. He didn't follow behind me. She came out the classroom right behind me. You know, she didn't say nothing to me because we wasn't beefing, but we didn't like, like, everybody knew we didn't like each other, but we wasn't beefing. So, that was, like, the first time for real, and it was like, okay, I see what you be on. Cool. But when they stopped talking, well, when me and him stopped talking, they got back together. Then, somewhere during, like, y'all know that little break y'all get in, like, no, this was like during, okay, so that was like before Christmas break. And then this is like during Christmas break. They break up, we start back talking. So we talking once we go back to school, kind of. Yeah, not even kind of, we probably was. So, you an idiot. So he, they, look, I guess they were still talking while me and him was so-called back talking. And... Like I said, this was Christmas break. Christmas break is over in January. So, I remember this so clear because I was so hurt. That was like, I felt my heart shatter from this. So, like, I'm going to say like the end of January. No, no, no. This is the beginning of February. I'm going to say like February 4th, 3rd, maybe. One of them days. I think I was, I don't even know. Me and him stopped talking though. No, that's not what happened. So, me and her, like I said, we was never beefing. So, I think I might have said something about him on Snapchat. And she slid up like, oh, y'all talk? With the little looking over emoji. I'm like, yes. Like, what? what, what what's T? Like, let me know something. She's like, oh, I kissed him earlier. Mind you, so did I. So, I was like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What? And I, my mind was really blown because, like I said, that first time he got caught, she made it seem to me like she was never going to mess with him again. I mean, you know I shouldn't have believed that, but, you know, I'm dumb. You know, like she said, she ain't going to fuck with him. I still want to be with him. He still want to be with me. We ain't got nothing to worry about. But I was dumb. Nowadays, I wouldn't even go for it, but I was dumb, so I did it, of course. So, she basically told me, like, they've been talking and they've been texting and whatever, and they kissed after, because, oh, I wasn't on the cheer team. She was, and he was a basketball player. So this was after school. I was going or whatever. They kissed. So I asked him about it, and he not know, like, he not a liar. Like, once he caught, he's not going to lie. So he like, yeah, bro, I did, whatever, blah, blah. I was sick. I was in my kitchen. I remember this. I broke down crying, like, <laughs> like, hysterically Girl, bye. I was so corny for this. I forgot I cried like that, but I cried like super hard. And like a week later was our school skating trip to um Northland. And they was booed up. He bought her something for Valentine's Day and everything. I watched all of that happen. Now, on Valentine's Day, I wasn't hurt by it for real. Because, like, I kind of knew it was going to happen. But it was kind of like, damn, you really did me like that. And at this, since it went how it did after Valentine's Day, I didn't mess with him. He didn't mess with me. But that's because it was kind of like, okay, you bought her something for Valentine's Day. Everybody seen that. Like, so y'all together together. To me, that's what it was. So I didn't really talk to him. So... This is February 24th, yes, because it's some pictures over here, y'all. I ain't going to turn the camera or whatever, but I remember this night because I went to a party this night. Um, they, I guess they got into it and stopped talking. She was at the party, and we was cool at this time. After that little breakdown happened, this is when we got cool because it was kind of like, we don't even know each other, and we don't like each other, but we hang around the same people, you know, so it was kind of like screwed beef. We cool. 
So we dancing at the party or whatever. So I bring, you know, me, bitch, you know, we cool now. And you know, I'm not one to care about him for real. So I'm like, where your boyfriend? Why he not here? Because this his friend, but he's not here, but we're here. So I'm like, where your boyfriend? She's like, girl, F him, blah, blah, blah. That's my boyfriend. I'm like, oh, snap. So me and her took a picture. I posted the picture after the party. He slid up on the picture like, wow, that's crazy. I'm like, what? And then he like, y'all cool or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Somehow he ended up giving me to text him. So we started texting. Then we got on FaceTime that night. And we didn't go to sleep on the phone because I had company. But the next day we probably did. And we ended up getting back together. His birthday is in March. So he had a birthday party. I was there or whatever. Um, yeah. And we was together until like June after that. Yeah, we stayed together until like June after that. And then, I don't know why. We broke up like... <coughs> Two weeks after school ended, and then we just didn't mess with each other all summer. But that's because we didn't see each other. I'm sure if we seen each other, we probably would end up getting back together. But we didn't see each other. So, we talk sometimes, though. We did. We would text sometimes. And, you know, hey, how you You know, you know, you know, you know how I be. So, school start back. The girl, the girl who he was messing with all that year before, Maria, she has gone gay. She has a whole girlfriend committed. They, her and that girl are still together right now as we speak. So we start back talking. Um, yeah, and we was talking until like September twenty something, and I cut him off because I was just it wasn't you know by this time I was tired. Like he wasn't. I don't know if he was cheating on me. The the time that we broke this time that we broke up this last time, I was just tired of because it was like now I don't even like you like you put me through so much with that girl like when I say, ah ah wait we gotta go back we gotta go way way back. <laughs> so I forgot about this. The homecoming night, my freshman year, which was in like freaking November, him and that girl had sex that night and we went to homecoming together. Me and him, yeah, we was together. We was talking, and they had sex homecoming night. I forgot all about that. That was his first time getting caught up. That that time I told y'all about was the second. I don't know how I forgot about that. Yeah, so me and him never did anything. That's why me and him never got sexual because I always felt like he was still having sex with her. Now the only reason we stayed together, even though I didn't want to be sexual with him, because I felt like if if I could get him to be loyal, we would. That's probably where i was going with that i don't know why but so we ended up i it was this this last time that we broke up i broke up with him um well no that's not even the last time but the last time the public knows about y'all about to find out about something y'all didn't even know about watching this but the last time we broke up i was i started the reason i left him alone was because i really low-key started talking to somebody else um, we gonna have a story time about him another time, cause he. Anyway, so I start I stopped talking to him to talk to someone else. Yes, I did, but it was because I was tired of him. Like it was like I liked him still because we was so cool. Like me and me and him was cool. Like we was like real close. So that's really kind of why I couldn't like stop talking to him. But like on a relationship level it just wasn't there no more so i cut him off it was just like you know i can't do it no more and then i stopped talking to him and i started talking to my crush at the time but once me and my crush broke up um we broke up like okay so this was september 2018 when i cut Javon off and me and the crush i'm talking about we broke up like february 2019 the end of february so me and Javon probably started back messing with each other like two weeks after that we started talking though we didn't start like dating and kissing and meeting up or whatever but we did start back talking and um but he was messing with this girl so i we was kind of just friends but the way me and him were we the fakest friends ever like we be friends but sis you know what i mean 
So, but he had a girlfriend, so I was still kind of doing me, and I had a. No, I was still single, cause I was still. And I. Ooh. I didn't mean to point over there, y'all ain't see that. I was still messing with uh the crush at the time, like we still talk on and off. Like I was still stuck on him. I was still stuck on him, but me and. And I. Ooh. Me and Javon was talking as friends, um. So. Yeah, and then. Your mama. So. Yeah, so this was, this I'm talking about where I was talking as friends is still going on like now. Actually, I'm lying. So just recently, like a week ago, he texted me like, hey, babe. You know? <laughs> but it's not going to happen. I, I, can't, I can't feel him ever again. Like, he just, he just something I need to leave in the past. Like, if you want to be cool, we can, but we're not going to be cool, like, bestie you know oh that's Lincoln go no we're not gonna be that but i'll check on you sometimes you know you might have a party i'll come but we're not friends no i'm straight on you <laughs> like completely i can't it's no love no nothing there anymore but yeah that's basically how that went but now a days we really like kind of just play with each other emotions i feel like because i don't I for, I for damn sure don't want him. But he be texting me like he like me. But I know he's still talking to like six other girls just because who he is. And if I just happen to want to be serious, he might be serious type of, sh type of stuff. So I don't really know what his intention is. But mine really just be I be bored and he be texting me. So, But I don't have no intentions of messing with that boy ever again because... That was my first heartbreak, to be honest. Like, I done, had, I done had puppy love relationships where I was hurt for a week or two. But I was hurt for a minute. And I felt like a corn. And I don't even like light-skinned boys no more. So he definitely don't have a chance because, no. And I think he's the reason why I don't like light-skinned boys. But I am so straight on him. He is no sis. It's, and I'm single. It's a hot girl summer. I am not about to go back messing with my weird ex who... Who, who played me when he had me like crazy and didn't want to come back. This ain't no resale shot. We don't, no, 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 no. Once you're, once you're out of here, you're gone. Done. Through. Oh. But, I don't know. That's really it for that. Like, <laughs> I don't know what my next video going to be about. If y'all really do watch, why, Emma? Put your dick and go and foot down. But, um. If y'all really gonna watch, like, if y'all sat through this whole video, y'all need to comment another topic. Because that means y'all think I'm interesting. So, comment another topic and I'm gonna do it because I don't have nothing to hide. Unless y'all asking for too much. Then I'm just gonna act like I, I didn't see it. But yeah.